Uh, in this video we'll show you how we can import the DXF file directly into the turning software and produce the file from that. So we've started the uh, CAM system from the desktop so we'll import a DXF drawing and this is the drawing that's come through. Um, we're working in inches and we're setting the import as being profiles for a lathe. So that is now uh, producing that uh, file. Uh, so we can now uh, add our tools on. But first of all, we we'll just do the setup, check on our tool change position, make sure that's in a safe position. This is where the machine will start from and end. So now we define a tool, set the uh, tip radius. If we have various tools, we can store them in a tool library so that we only need to set them up once. Set the spindle speed and the feed rate that we want. Okay, so now we can do a turning cycle. So this is a roughing cycle, so we need to give it the limit, which is the start and end point in Z and X. And these two uh, sizes here can be considered as the corners of a rectangle. So we can either type in the sizes here or we can choose them from the screen. So if we say that this is the start point there and the opposing corner of the rectangle is over here, we can leave a finishing allowance on so that we can then use a finishing pass to uh, get rid of that and then the cut that is set here. So that's produced the tool path for that. Now we can use the profile turning uh, command. This will produce a finishing pass. Uh, we can set an approach and a runoff, so if we have the approach set to maybe point 0.1 and it's an arc approach and it's an arc runoff. So that produces the tool path here. If we need to, we can view the tool path as a, a dating point on the tool or we can see the tool moving on the screen. Uh, when we're happy with that, if we've got uh, the laid standard module, but this is not included in Mill Basic, we can use the 3D simulation. So that calls up the simulator. We can leave all of these defaults as they are and click simulate. So that's now uh, passing the data through to the uh, machine tool simulator. So it calculates the stop from the extent of the toolpath and there's simple video controls at the top here. So if we play that, then we can either speed up or slow down the display. We can zoom in. Okay, so that's how we can take that part through into the um, simulator. When we return to the uh, CAM system here, the next stage would be to post-process that using uh, whichever post-processor is appropriate for your machine tool, and then the G-code file is created here. Okay, so that's how that works.